The kick's power comes from the torque generated by the rotation of the hips. It's the same principle that cracks a whip. Turning the hips just a few degrees forces the foot to travel a much greater distance and creates a lot of speed as it does. The longer the leg and quicker the rotation, the faster the kick. And unlike karate, Muay Thai fighters are also taught to strike with the hard bone of the shin. A Muay Thai kick can generate roughly the same force as a baseball bat, enough to crack a rib or a leg. Basically, it works like a point of a knife. All the force is magnified by being concentrated in a small, hard area. Even if the elbow doesn't deliver a knockout, it will almost always leave a nasty cut and often end a fight. Getting in close neutralizes the opponent's weapon advantage. Then, in the clinch, we bring the power of the knee to bear. Unlike the kick, which relies on rotation to create power, the knee gets its power from leverage. Pulling our opponent down as we drive the knee up can deliver up to 2.5 tons of force, enough to lift a car. It's not the arms, but the legs that drive our fists. Like a piston, the explosive power of the legs is capable of generating hundreds of pounds of force. All to a very vulnerable area, the soft underside of the opponent's jaw. Like the Hanuman move, the flying knee relies on the explosive power of the legs. But rather than spread the power of our blow over two fists, it concentrates it into the spear point of the knee and combines it with the force of gravity. It's the equivalent of hitting our opponent in the chest with a sledgehammer.